Hey, what's up, guys? Jay Rich here. Uh, Want to do a little comparison while I've got this trailer here. Um, this is a Clement Monstar trailer. It's an '89 cubic yard um, scrap trailer. We used to haul scrap metal in. Uh, just gonna run through real quick. Look at look it over. It is dirty. Sitting out here in this field, it's waiting on a tarp system to be put in. And uh, we're going to compare this trailer to my new Brazos Super Scrapper. Um, tandem axle trailers, no airbags, all leaf spring suspension. Um, it's got this little triangular shaped kind of uh, deal that when you dump all the, all three or both axles stay on the ground. No holes in the door. I wish that they would, I'm sure they could, but up in this upper section here, cut this upper section out and put a, like a heavy screen in to let the air out of the back of the trailer would be nice. Uh, it's got your standard lights, nothing fancy. This trailer is a little bit older. We bought it used. Um, it says it's been sitting here waiting, uh, waiting to get a tarp put on it. Um, got your safety chain, you got your your turnbuckle, um, ratchet style to open the back door, which I like because uh, I'll get it into it with the Brazos trailer on why I prefer that system over the one on the Brazos. Um, your mud flap, here your mud flap is flippable, you come back here. There's this handle, push this handle down, and your mud flap latches in right there. You say, why does it do that? That looks stupid. Well, if you don't want to go to dump, your mud flap will get caught in your rear tires and you will tear the mud flap off your truck. So I'm gonna put this back. Lock that back in. But yeah, when you dump, See, like this trailer here has got airbags on it, and uh, it's also a frameless trailer, but when you go to dump this trailer, you'll deflate your airbags to where it sits more solid on the frame. Uh, as you can see on this trailer, there are no airbags. And uh, when you go to dump this trailer, this damn trailer's higher than a draft's ass. I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's way up there, way up there. But... Yeah, here's a quick look at the Clement Monstar frameless dump trailer. And uh, we're going to so take a look at the Brazos, which my truck is hooked to right now. So this one is sitting here waiting to get a tarp put on it. Because we need a tarp. But, yeah, so we'll be back. Alright guys, here is the 83 yard Brazos Super Scrapper trailer. 40 feet long, 13.6 high. Uh, just like the Clement is 13.6 high, the uh, Clement is just a little bit longer, I think, at like 43 feet. It's your airline, hydraulic line, electrical, tarp control. Once again, frameless trailer. Standard landing gear. Um, this trailer did come with a tarp system, which is we've already had to replace. Uh, got the arms tore up on this on the first one we had, um, so we added these straps so that uh, when you're going down the road, your one side's not cocked up higher than the other. It stays flat and level. That's how the arms got tore up. The one side was cocked up and. It, it caught a low overpass so um just like the clement tandem axle trailer no airbags it is spring suspension uh, when you dump all eight wheels stay on the ground um, back here we've added ratchets for those straps for the tarp um, so that high wind uh, the tarp doesn't doesn't go flying up um, it's a back door of the Brazos trailer. Once again, I wish we had 
holes in the back to let the air escape out of the trailer probably get some better fuel mileage um, one thing that does set this trailer apart from the Clement is you will see the extra support and if you look at the door the hinge on the door this is more of a piano style hinge as to where the um, Monstar was just a three point had one two and then three points hinge mud flaps a little different still the same principle uh, you're gonna pull this pin swing swing your mud flap over to here and put the pin drop the pin back in here uh, to move your mud flap out of the way or you will tear the mud flap off eventually and over here um, keeping up with the heavy-duty theme of the um, Brazos you do see there's a lot more latching points um, you're gonna pull this pull the safety pin then pull this pin make sure you take your safety chain off first you don't want to pop this door open without taking the safety chain off or you will you'll be in for a hard time trying to get the safety chain out to get the door open but with this system see how these latches swing out uh, they will swing in and out of the way allowing the door to push open now the reason why I said I did like the Clement better is because if somebody puts stuff against the back door and it pushes the back door out um, you will have a hard time getting your your safety pin out you will literally have to use all your force to push in on this and still that might not be enough you might have to get somebody to unload the back of the trailer first um, like I said heavy duty supports this uh, tarp system that we put in uh, it came with a USA tarps system uh, and I'm down here making right now um, these guys put this um, spring system in USA also has a similar setup but the USA tarp system um, I did not like as bad uh, or as much as I do like this one the um, the spring pack is more heavy duty on this one with the USA tarps I was having to get out of the truck and push the arms up and get it the arms halfway to the halfway point before the springs would take over and let it fall all the way back um, and the with this system I don't have to get out of the truck I don't have to push the arms or anything like that um, look at this side you got at your air supply your green is your electrical the black is your tarp control um, you got your hydraulic for your PTO coming out um, and that's pretty much it um, you got a little tube to keep your um, registration trailer registration another thing I do not like is these steps these steps are freaking scary especially if you're a big dude this uh, step right here is so freaking high they need to have a smaller step down here towards the bottom for you to be able to uh, to reach up because it's quite a stretch if you're any shorter than six foot it's quite a stretch but okay so um oh one more thing this trailer is and like i said 83 cubic yard but this trailer is 2500 pounds heavier than the clement monstar so with this truck day cab trailer configuration uh, I'm at 41,000 full of fuel 41,000 full of fuel the uh, the Clement Monstar same truck I am at 38.5 uh, give or take a few pounds so but, but you can definitely see it you definitely have this um, it's heavier duty construction here you can see the back door is more beefy um, oh, well, one other thing I do not like about the Brazos is with this support right here I can't see if there's a car behind me where as the Clement is um, does not have this support here so therefore when I look at my mirror I can see directly and see if there is a car behind me on either side oh, which is nice because face it you're sitting on the street somewhere waiting to back in and somebody will pull behind you and just sit there uh, believe it or not um, oh one other thing 
I almost forgot what this Brazos trailer. This thing is about brand new, and I'm hoping you're going to be able to see it. But right in here, you see this old nasty weld we had to do? Right in here, this is the old nasty weld. This whole mud flap started sagging. Now you can see this mud flap's not been hit, it's not damaged. Um, but from just the sheer weight of this whole mud flap, the it was um, starting to sag down like so. And what I noticed well, one day, I looked up in here and the factory weld was cracked. Now, it seems as though there's a pipe that runs down in the center, and I imagine it's about that diameter. I'm wondering if that pipe is maybe just too small to hold the weight of of this uh, mud flap. So, yeah, we had to booger weld that up. You know, we only had it a month. We had to weld that up. So, I don't, I don't know. That's kind of a, seems to me, an engineering flaw. I can see if uh, something had hit this and and uh, it was mangled up but that's not the case so there it is guys there's a uh, comparison to the uh, Brazos Super Scrapper um, it is a good trailer it really is a good trailer but it is heavy uh, my boss doesn't seem to mind that it's too heavy uh, he thinks heavier is better made so uh, as long as he likes it don't matter what I think right um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, hope you enjoy.